You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. Meteorologist Patrick Wright joining us in the Storm Tracker Weather Center. So, Patrick, we are expecting the heavy rain and snow to come into our area. When can we expect it? We're starting to see some of that system move into Northern California at this point of time. Looking at the radar, satellite and radar right now, it's mainly focused towards the northern and coastal mountains at this point in time. Writing starting to get in on some of that rain. And again, uh, this system is real. The main focus of the system will be a lot of the snow that spreads into our area in the mountains because this is a very cold system and we'll see those snow levels getting to some of the past levels, which will make travel treacherous. The other aspect of the system will be the winds across Northern California, especially in portions of the valley, starting to develop this evening as we start to see the system move ashore and gust up to about 23 to 25 miles per hour in the valley by 830. And that'll continue to grow overnight tonight. By tomorrow morning, 5 a.m., 36 mile per hour gusts possible in the valley, some cases getting approaching 40 mile per hour gusts. So do tie down or secure any decorations and anything outdoors so it doesn't blow away over the next few days. This is a longer duration event in terms of the winds and we'll see winds gusting up to 26 miles per hour by Sunday evening and Monday we get a surge of wind coming up as the second portion of this system begins to roll into Northern California. Gusts up to 40 miles per hour at Reading 30 in Chico. So again, bring your stuff in and hold on to your hats as you're heading out the door Monday morning. And we'll continue to see those wind gusts we're heading into the day, early morning hours on Monday. 56 mile per hour gusts possible. So this is something we really have to watch going forward on top of the rain that will be, will be developing. Now this system will begin to weaken and move out of our area by Monday evening into Tuesday morning with the winds decreasing, decreasing significantly. A wind advisory will go into effect early Monday morning through Monday afternoon because of the system and that'll be something really to watch. But then we also have a high wind warning in effect from Modoc County throughout through the rest of this evening because of these winds. Now for the future cast for the system, we will be watching all of that snow spreading across the mountains. The rain in the valley won't be as heavy as we've seen before, but it will be enough to really cause a little bring some shower of heavy rain at times across the valley, but a lot of this system will be focused in the mountains with a lot of snow. So it's not this constant rain we saw back in October with the atmospheric river event, but we will again see a lot of snow and this is something we have to watch if you're traveling in the mountains, although it is amazing for our snowpack for ski resorts and everything because this will really give a boost with some places getting up to six feet of snow for those higher elevations. Now by Tuesday morning, we start to see a lot of this move on out of our area and break up to a generally partly cloudy sky by Tuesday afternoon with a few lingering showers. Now rain totals again won't be as impressive as we saw back in October, which is good news because we don't want a lot of rain all at once possibly between one to two inches of rain in the valley, but everything that falls in the mountains will come down as snow. Snow totals up to about three to one to five feet in some places across all of our mountain areas. And again, some places getting locally six feet of snow. Winter storm warnings will go into effect this evening and last through Tuesday because of a lot of that heavy snow. So if you have past travel or mountain travel over the next few days, this weekend is not the time to do it. Temperatures for tomorrow will barely get out of the 40s, upper 40s for the most part across the valley, as this is a much cooler system across our area, and that'll last for the next couple of days. So looking at Chico, temperatures again barely getting into the mid 40s through Sunday and even Monday with those windy and rainy conditions around. Now, this isn't a solid rain, but it is still enough rain. We'll be keeping an eye on that as time goes forward. But looking towards the middle of the week, we have another system rolling in and that system will be much colder compared to the one we have where we could even see some places in the valley such as Redding and other areas and higher elevations of our foothills even getting some flakes. But we'll have to watch that system as we get a little closer. Got it. And I'm sure you'll be tracking it all. Mm -hmm. Patrick, we appreciate it. We need all the rain and snow mm -hmm. that we can get, right? Thank you very much. We